In all of our days of cooking, we've done tons of hot dogs, we've done tons of hamburgers, we've never, ever, ever done a hamburger, hot dog, a burger dog. And that changes today. <laughs> it does. You wanna see how we knock out this bizarre combo? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. You know, it is one that excites me and intrigues me because so yes. often when we get together with cooks, we start putting ideas together. What I really love is when I can start thinking about how the flavors are going to be. Uh huh. We're doing this one because I have no idea. Yeah, neither do I. And you think about it, you go to any typical cookout, there's burgers and dogs. Yep, absolutely. You got, person's on the grill, they got burgers on one level, dogs on the other, or side by side. And today, we're, well, we're gonna put the two together per request. Yes. And the person said they were called Cowboy hot dogs. After yes. doing some research, cowboy hot dogs are a little different. Yeah. Zeb Allgood recommended this. He did call it a cowboy hot dog and then completely walked us through the cook. And here's the deal. When I did research, I didn't see the cowboy hot dog. That one seemed like a deep fried hot dog. But a burger dog, which is very similar and very similar to the way he explained it now because of that, we decided we're going to do our own take. I want to dress this uh -huh. the way I would a hamburger. Okay. So I'm going to try with the, with the lettuce, tomatoes, and all that. But Brett, while I'm talking about the groceries, why don't you just show them? All right, well, here we go. First of all, we're, we're gonna talk about these hot dogs because they're subret, they're almost at them. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. And they spelled my name right, so I appreciate these. Of course, we got 80, 20 ground beef like we do in most of our burgers. And then the usual toppings, lettuce, tomato, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, buns, and not pictured, pickles. This is okay. Brett's name, Sabret. He said they spelled his name right, Sabret. Well, all right, so <laughs> The Brett part of it is right. Like, okay. I, it's Sabret. I've never had the Sabret brand. That's the reason Brett wanted to go with Sabret, because I have never had the Sabret. Brett has had the Sabret. I have not. I like that my name's coming up a lot in this conversation. <laughs> Hashtag Brett for president. <laughs> All right, but let's go ahead and let's I just get to the message. We're going to start cooking the hot dogs, then pull them and wrap them in the ground beef. Yep. Now, we know we're going to have to cook them all the way through because we're only cooking one side of the ground beef, but then we're going to put them in the buns and dress them and eat them. But we are going to salt and pepper the beef once it's on as yes. well. So, so, so we want to cook it like the hamburger. But let's get to the cooking. Let's see what we're talking about. Sound I'm guy check. So back at it. Uh, again, we are on the phone because of the lighting out here, but there we go. We got the griddle on. We'll let those sizzle. Now, we're not worried about scoring the hot dogs because we really just want to cook these and get them ready to be wrapped in yeah. the beef. Yeah, we just have to par cook them right now. It's all we're interested in doing. Get the cooking process started, even though you can eat these raw, they're pre cooked. Yeah. So, I'm thinking a good 20, 30 seconds per side, moving around three or four times. We're yeah. good. Exactly. All right. We have ourselves two par-cooked hot dogs. I'll grab the tray there if you need me to. We've got Shoot. these. Basically, we thought we would lay the, ham uh, the hot dogs in there. There you go, just like that. And then Brett is going to grab one, and then he's just going to to kind of manipulate the meat to go around, the ground beef to go around the hot dog. We can cut out whatever excess we don't need. We want this too big and, and, and bulky. So yeah, we're not trying to get a through. thick burger around the hat. All right, we finally got the hot dogs wrapped in ground beef. Now Brett's gonna salt and pepper and then turn and salt and pepper the other side. We don't need a ton. Correct. There we go, there we go. All right, and then just a little pep. We're just doing a little here. We love these gravity fed salt and pepper shakers. All right, there we go. We have a link for them down below, by the way. Yes, we do. All right, then we're going to cook these up. We're gonna get a nice Maillard reaction to what we're going for. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna get a nice good, see, as soon as we can start getting this cooked, we're gonna move it around. We've got the burners on the low. We'll bring it up just a little bit to medium low, uh, but we're not trying to get a good sear. We're just trying to cook these through. So they're gonna have to sit a little bit longer. So as we move it, we'll uh, adjust and see how it's going. All right, give these a flippity doo dah day. Oh, they actually tend up okay. Good. Up. Yeah. Get some good cookage. Yep. Now we do have these on lower, so we weren't expecting a big sear. We do have some sear, which is good. There you go. Yeah, all right, we'll, uh, we'll get these cooked out. You see, you get the process. It's starting to break open a little bit because we did know the ground beef was going to shrink some. So we want to see what's going to happen overall. Yep. And uh, we'll get this all the way cooked and then we'll uh, get ready to build and discuss. Well, there they are. They do not look pretty. Yes, but... they do. <laughs> Yes. Okay. If this I were to imagine what a bird dog would look yeah, like, as a burger dog, that's true. But uh, there we go. That fills the bun. I don't know how we're gonna. <laughs> I don't know how 
know we're gonna build We're gonna it. make it. We're gonna make it happen, Captain. All right. All right. So Brett wanted to put the in uh, condiments down below, but I thought this thing's ugly. I want to dress it pretty. Let's go dress. <laughs> Well, there it is in all oh, its glory. glory. As Brett says, that's, there they are in all, all their, their glory. glory. And I don't know what kind of glory we're talking about here. This does not look that, I mean, it looks this, good. It looks yeah, tasty. Yeah, this is exactly how I ex expected it to look. So. Right. Uh, not too shabby though in the grand scheme of things. I think I dressed it pretty pretty. And, uh, but there it is, Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. I think it looks amazing. I do Adam not. begs to differ. I think we have our first non-look amazing, but I'm He's okay wrong. with it. No, no, no. But no. like we say, it can smell amazing. This smells absolutely amazing. It does smell amazing. More like burger than dog, I'm just there saying. There you go, because <laughs> the burger is covering the dog. And this. this this, by the way, this bun is pillowy soft. Yes, it is. I'm loving it. But if it doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for naught. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. Mm. Wow. I like it. Mm -hmm. Better than I thought. Better than I thought it would end up being. This is satisfying. It is cooked all the way through. That was my biggest. I got to take another bite. Yeah. It tastes like a hamburger, but, but you're I'm getting, getting the, the flavor hot dog, dog too. Uh huh. Yep. Listen. I don't hate it at all. Mm -mm. This is so bizarre. Mm -hmm. You don't know what to think. It feels like you're cheating on a hot dog by eating a hamburger and cheating on a hamburger by eating a hot dog at the same time. But I think we're all in agreement that it's okay. It is okay. I would say try it. Yeah. Am I ever doing this again? Probably not. <laughs> it was good. And I was Good saying. point. Good point. <laughs> Unless we got hired. <laughs> by, by a company that is selling. Said, listen, we want you to cook nothing but burger dogs for the entire company. Then uh, yes, I would do it. It's interesting. I, I will say very satisfying. I'm glad we yeah, did this true. and it's better than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. At first I was excited. Then watching it cook, I'm like, this just does not look appealing. Uh huh. And and it's it's everything because it looks like a hot dog that's wrapped in ground beef. And I was worried about the ground beef overcooking. It actually cooked very nice. Perfectly, perfect. Very nice all the way through. That's I, I, seasoned to perfection was just salt and pepper. Yeah, I keep going back to that. I want more. So, I do. So maybe do that's more telling than anything. The fact that I want to keep going and take more <laughs> bites. Like, now we dress this like our traditional hamburgers because yep. we just wanted to keep it simple with that. And I thought it'd be more hamburger, oh. but it actually gives really good flavor to the hot dog as well. Yeah, the hot dog. Damn, yeah, forget about like it. It's good. Like it's good. It's good. It's good. It, this is this is a solid good cook. Yeah, I, it's I, not I, the I, best thing we've ever made. It's not the worst thing we've ever made. It's it's just something we made. Well, every time <laughs> we make something, it's a thing we make at that time. So we'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, I love this. Happy that we did this. Yep. You ought to give it a try, and if you do, let us know how it turns out for you, or tell or us if how you've you, done this. Yeah, and and if you've done it different, let us know how it worked out for yep. you. If you did enjoy this video, regardless, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by going to Amazon, checking out the link below to our cookbook, the Epic Outdoor Griddle cookbook. We're super excited and honored to have that. Yeah, so thank you to everyone that pre-ordered it and everyone that has ordered it since its release. Right, and also it is available wherever books are sold. So check it out if you have a bookstore near you. Yep. Man, so excited we came and did this one. It really I was, do. This was of worth all it. things, these are the ones that I love though because they're fun and this will be a memorable cook. 100. So love that we did it. Yep. Aside from coming to knock out this fun, great, fun cook. The, I'll call it a The banger. burger dog, the cowboy hot dog, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. What else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin. No, no matter what. what and with that we bid you adieu and don't forget to like and subscribe and griddle on feeling in my bones i can feel it in my veins